Greyroad's commandment has been stolen. So it's come to this. You've grown more and more desperate, haven't you, Meliodas? This is bad! Really bad! There's an overwhelming magical force from Camelot that's coming straight for us! What awful timing! Our power's drained from that battle earlier! Oh my goodness! What if it's Chandler again? Eskimo! Mm -hmm. You gotta transform now! But I can't do that! It's nighttime! Everyone calm down. <gasps> Merlin! I'm fully prepared to negotiate. Are you kidding me? How can you hope to do that when you don't even know who it is or what they might do to you? Well, it may be a gamble, but I believe I know what they're after. So you're the one he sent here. Then that should speed things up considerably, Zeldris. And who are you? I don't recall seeing your face before. Really? I'm offended. What? Does this face ring any bells? <gasps> are you the Merlin that Meliodas spoke about? The same one who... What did he say? No clue. The girl exalted by the Demon King and the Supreme Deity. Hmm. Huh? What? what? This is so incredible. Did he just say she's been blessed by both of them somehow? That works out to be the exact opposite of the princess and the captain. It's too noisy out here. Let's talk alone, just the two of us. A very wise decision. Hey, Merlin, wait a minute! Huh? A strand of hair? Speakably <laughs> sinister. I never would have even imagined I'd run into a big shot like you. Belialuin, the capital of the wizards, remained neutral. They'd never allied themselves with the demons nor the goddesses. It was there that a miraculous child prodigy with the magic power Infinity was born. Rumors about her spread like wildfire to the demon and celestial realms, and both gods tried to draw the child to their side. The wizards of Belialuin protested intensely. They believed the child's power was their property and no one else's. But the child, going against the wizards' wishes, struck up negotiations with the two gods on her own. She told them she'd side with the one who gave her the gift she liked the most. The Demon King granted the child all knowledge of the Demon Realm's secret arts and protection from the Goddess Race's brainwashing spells. The Supreme Deity gave her protection that would neutralize all dark curses, even those of commandments. The child accepted these blessings, but then did something no one could have ever imagined. She rejected both gods. <sighs> She dared to betray the deities. Furious, the two gods surrounded the capital with a fog of curses and death, raining down with fire and lightning. Until Belialuin was destroyed. But since the child possessed divine protection and the magic power Infinity, she easily escaped unharmed, then vanished. It's hard to believe I'm face to face with someone so infamous. You call yourself Merlin now. Don't you? What does your latest scheme involve? Answer me. <laughs> you give me too much credit. After all this time, who cares about me anyway? Never mind that. Now isn't this what you came here looking for? What I don't understand, Zeldris, is why someone who surely detests his brother would go out of his way to help gather the commandments for Meliodas the traitor. By giving him those ten fragments of the Demon King's power, you're also helping him secure the throne. I just don't see what good that could possibly do for you. Helping him secure the throne? I don't have to answer that, but I'm not interested in fighting you either. Just hand that over and I'll let you all go. So you want to make a deal, is that it? I don't want to part with it, but there's just no choice. <clears throat> What's this? It's not that I mind handing it over, but I feel like I'm getting shortchanged a bit. So why don't you sweeten the pot a little? What do you want? Hand Elizabeth over to me and we can call it even. Her time is limited. She only has a little over two days left. And I can't let her suffer any longer in that den of demons. Sorry, but that's a no. 
There's no way Meliodas would ever let that happen. After all, the main reason he's attempting to gain the Demon King's power in the first place is to try and lift that curse. But rest assured, as long as she's under Meliodas' protection, no one can lay a finger on her. Yes, of course. However, that still leaves us at an impasse without a deal. Why don't you request something else? All right, instead of Elizabeth, hand over the King of Camelot. King Arthur? It's just as I suspected. Afraid that's an O2. I'm not familiar with the King's name or face. Therefore, I can't guarantee it. I've been aggravated enough the last few days dealing with the fallout of an unknown attacker who left us with heavy casualties. So I won't be able to ensure the safety of some random two-bit king. How annoying. Fine. Then release the holy knights and citizens, enslaved by the commandment of piety. Deal. Consider it done. And make sure your minion demons keep their hands off them. Not a problem. Huh? What the...? What have we been doing all this time? Oh! Demons! <laughs> time for your part of the bargain. Lift the curse as promised. Sorry, my shoulder's feeling so stiff. I guess being in this form does a number on my body. Mm. Enough with the lame acting. Get on with it already! You're really going out of your way to make the little guy mad, aren't you, Merlin? Give me a second, almost there. So you know, I find this behavior incredibly suspicious, so now I'm focused in on your every move. Try anything funny and I'll take you down. I won't do anything, I promise you. I will. So just consider this as my way of greeting you.